Winter is a great time for film and photo, but the snow and the cold present a few unique challenges and things to be aware of when you're editing. So in today's video, I want to show you how to color correct your winter footage and also how to give it this cool stylized winter color grade. The first tool I use on my clip is curves and I use this to adjust the brightness and contrast. And the big thing here is to just be careful with the amount of contrast you add to the clip because that snow is very reflective and it's gonna start to peak and turn completely white very easily and you'll be losing that detail before you know it. For a lot of snowy clips, you can add enough contrast in by just darkening the midtones and shadows. And on some shots, you might even have to darken the highlights as well. Next, I like to use a hue and saturation adjustment to shift around the individual tones in the image and really dial in the look. Snow usually shows up as a light blue color on camera, so it's very tempting to just saturate it and go for that teal and orange look. But in reality, snow is in fact not blue, so I'm gonna desaturate the blue and cyan tones in the image to get rid of that color from the snow entirely. If the shot I'm working with includes some plants, I'll desaturate the green and yellow tones and even consider shifting the green to a cooler color. This is just gonna make those plants look a bit more frosty and how do I say it? dead. And finally, I'll saturate the red tones in the image to bring out some color contrast. And if you have like some wood or fall colors in your image, this is going to look absolutely sick. That's all we have to do for that stylized winter look, but there's one more thing I do with the HSL effect, and that's fix the skin tone. If there are people in your shot, there's a good chance that their skin tone is going to be a bit off because of the cold. Some people can go outside be cold and their skin doesn't look different at all, but a lot of us, we go outside and our skin turns a bit more purple. Basically what I'm gonna do to fix this is shift the magenta tones in the image to more of a red color, and if that's not enough of an adjustment to fix the skin tones quite yet, you can go back to that curves effect and take a bit of blue out of the shadows. At this point, I want the shot to feel overall colder while keeping the snow white. So what I'm going to do is use another curves effect and just take some red out of the shadows. And this is going to give you those kind of teal tinted shadows. This is a very subtle detail, but it's something I do on just about every shot for added cool tones and color contrast. And finally, if you're shooting in bright snow, there's a good chance that you're going to end up with some blown out overexposed highlights and you don't have to do anything to fix this but what i like to do is add this diffusion effect to my shot i made a separate video all about it that you can click by watching right here watch that you can watch by clicking right here but basically what this does is it takes those highlights and blurs them it kind of smooths them out and takes the harsh edge off of that so you're still going to have some overexposed parts in your shot but the look a little bit more professional and less, you know, sharp around the edges. At this point, you should have achieved a pretty cool looking winter color grade. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you learned something new. And if you did, do feel free to show your support by leaving a like on the video, sharing it with your friends, or even subscribing to my channel. I upload two new filmmaking tutorials every single week. But that's all for now. Keep creating and I'll see you in the next one.